The most important thing to understand about trading is the difference between being a gambler and someone that's actually here to make money. Someone that's in control of their money and know what's actually going on. It comes down to structure. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you all of your mistakes. I'm gonna show you where you've been going wrong and I'm gonna show you how to build the ultimate structure that you're gonna finally understand where your money is and what's the purpose behind all of your money. Guys, I've said this many times. Your money needs purpose. If it has purpose, you know what it's doing. You know why you are buying meme coins and why you are buying uh, Bitcoin and why you're buying Ethereum. If you don't know why you're buying them and have no ultimate plan for them, you are being a gambler. And the problem with this is you're going to end up buying these tokens and never selling them. You are here for financial freedom. You are here for the skill of understanding how to make money. And I am here to show you how I have just done it. And I did it off of a few basic rules. So the first thing I want to speak about is understanding that you can actually do this. Many people think that they can't do this. Now, I want to remind you that if you open up any game on your mobile device and you play that game, it's very likely you can make a lot of money in that game or a lot of tokens or you can do incredibly well. Probably build up the leaderboard. You can kick butt, right? Now, why in normal life you can't make money? There's so many times in games I can be rich and I can own everything, but in life I can't really do it. That's because we treat life too seriously. We treat money too seriously. It's a game. It's an understanding that you are fighting other people out there all for the same money. And you need to basically do it in a simple way where you're ahead of them, but you're also emotionally controlling yourself. And in order to get emotional control, you need to have structure. So I'm here to tell you that you can actually do this. And I'm gonna give you a very simple system that's gonna help you a lot with this. Now, the difference between a gambler and a trader. A gambler is someone that is super emotional, has no game plan at all comes with their money, goes all in, okay, gets hit, runs away. All of a sudden hears that the markets are doing well, comes straight back, puts all their money in and they get hit. They borrow money. They don't have any idea of what they're actually doing other than the hope of becoming rich overnight. Okay, if this is you, you're falling under the gambler's structure. You don't understand what you're doing and the purpose behind your money. Now let's speak about a trader. A trader can survive any market conditions. And I wanna speak about there's times where the market goes up nine months straight, and there's times where the market comes down 18 months straight, yet traders can survive and they can make money. Why? Because they know when to preserve. They know when the market is taking money from you. And they know when to go in hard because the market is giving money. And they also know that the drought comes a little bit later. So in that time, they know take advantage of the hot seasons and be conservative and prepare for the droughts. It's all about understanding risk and reward. And that's the big difference. Guys, I want to remind you again, we have given you the ecosystem to become something great. I have something called Sniper School. Here it is. Here is all of the topics starting from the beginning. This is the foundation of understanding that the market is driven by emotions, that you need to have rule systems. You need to have trading journals that is there to track your own data. You are a human being. You have your own data. You've got your own strengths. You've got your own weaknesses. The trading journal highlights that, tells you where you're brilliant and tells you where you suck. And you can sit there and you can either be upset that you suck or you can be like, you know what? I can protect myself from where I suck. And that's what it's there for. From there, it takes you into learning the TA, which I believe is 10% of the actual skill, where you learn where to buy, where to sell, and what to do. These things are amazing, but it comes down to the rules and the structure behind just the TA. Then it gets to a point of understanding that you are the boss of your own money, and you learn strategies. You learn how to make that $50 a day. You learn how to trade for a car. You learn how to trade for a house. You learn how to prepare and use your money to work for you. And you also know that Rome was not built in one day. You start off with one business. Once you've got that business right, you build the next and then the next. And it may seem like this big journey. Guys, I just did it in three and a half years. From knowing nothing and not having any money and struggling to actually being a business owner and actually getting somewhere in life. And I'm very proud of that. And this is what the whole school's about. I have the school for you. I have the club for you. The club is once you have done school, it is there to, to give you a community, to help you on the big red days, on the big green days, to continue your learning and growth within the space. These things are built for you. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some alpha on you. And I want you to hit that like and that subscribe button if you are feeling me right now and you are ready to change your damn life. I wanna see the likes fly up. I'm gonna watch this video after and I wanna see that you've been smashing the like button because I've been working the whole afternoon to make sure that you can actually use this to better your trading journey. So let's jump into it. And the way it basically starts it just starts off with the structure of what you're doing. Many people come into the space and they have $1,000. Now what should I do? Oh, I should buy some long-term coins. Oh, I should open up leverage accounts. Oh, I should do all these sort of, sort of things. Okay, now guys, either of those can work with a lot of studying and a lot of planning. Cool, no problem. But it's not the right way to do it. It's not the right way to start and keep it simple. Many people blow themselves up by learning. You need to understand that this market is here and will stay here every single day and it will give you new trades next week. Okay, even if it's going up today, next week there'll be a red day. And in three weeks time, there'll be a green day. And then there'll be a red day. It's always going to be here. So this whole FOMO that I'm gonna miss the biggest opportunity of my life, get out of your brain today and get back to the basics. The way it starts is you have $1,000. Now what? Now I wanna show you a very powerful tool. I like to call this a spot account. A spot account is something where you can buy, you can put a stop loss, you can put a take profits, but it's a place where you can start trading your actual capital. And this is where it starts. Now you'll see a few things with these ones above. And the problem is with that is they, they end up getting rinsed out because leverage you can get liquidated, margin you can get liquidated, long term you can hold and go into a 95% loss. Where spot basically teaches you the sense of risk to reward. I can buy a token now because I think it's in a great place to buy. Okay, and you remember red days are the ones you wanna be buying and I can put a stop loss, I can calculate my risk and I can put a take profits and I can make sure that what if I'm taking this trade, my, my take profit, my reward is three to five times more than what my risk is. That's all that it is. Why? Because it gives you an opportunity that if you have a loss and another loss and another loss and you get one victory, you're making money. That's the power of it. You only need to be 30% of an accurate trader to be a phenomenal trader in this world. Spot is where you start. Okay, this is where you start. This is the most important account that you have. This is where you start. Protect this at all times. Now, why I'm saying this, guys, is the spot account is your gold. Your gold is something that you can always use to create something else to help you on the journey. Without your gold, ask anyone that's gone to zero in crypto, you're screwed, right? You're going to zero on a big dump, you couldn't buy it, the markets are up again. The markets are gonna continue with or without you. So if you get flushed out, the markets will still go up at some point and it's gonna leave you behind. Okay, so your gold is your spot account, which means you are super protective about it. But what's also amazing about the spot account is you can use this to create new ecosystems and new ways of making income. Then what you see here is you need to take this. Um, this account is purely to make money. Now, this is important. No falling in love. This coin's gonna change the world. This one's amazing. It's not about that. It's about this account is to make money which means you are trading where the money is. If the, if the coins are hot today, you wanna to be looking at the strong tokens to be trading because you want the best probability of winning. Not the one that's dying and that's crying out there and you think that it might pump, no. The one that's giving you the structure and the one that's gonna make you the money is the one that you are trading. So it's purely focused on just making money. No emotions and no leverage with this. No leverage with your gold. All of a sudden, you put in $1,000, you get a trade correct, okay? You have the shows, you've got a lot of information, and all of a sudden, you make 20%. Now you make some money. Now this is where the skill comes into play. Because if you make $200 on your $1,000, now that is called something free money. Now I wanna go back to the analogy of why can you play a game and make a lot of money? Because that money's not real, right? When you're playing The Sims and you're rich and you're playing these things, it's fantastic. Why? Because it's not real money. Therefore, you treat it like this, you actually treat it like a game. You start to actually play the game because you're not emotionally attached to it. So when you make money on top of your spot account, now you can start dipping your toes into the other tools that you can use. So for me, when I start off with spot and I make money, I can use spot to take that profit, that $200 profit, and I leave my $1,000 back in there, and that $200, I can create a margin account. Now, what is a margin account? If you don't know what a margin account is yet, you need to go study before you even attempt it. <laughs> but a margin account is something where I can borrow more money from the exchange. I can 3x my money and I can trade it, which is phenomenal to the upside, and I can get liquidated to the downside, which means I have risk in this portfolio, and I wanna show you over here. This account is for a purpose, okay? And it's there to actually grow your other accounts. But it does come with risk, and it can be liquidated. Super important, so it can blow up. 
okay? So the purpose of this now is I can take money and actually create a margin account to take on a little bit more risk to trade with more money. And if I get it right, I'm gonna make a lot more money. If I get it wrong and the account blows up, I can go back to my spot, open up another trade, make profits and open up the account again. So what it teaches you is you don't take risk on your spot accounts, you can take risk on other accounts. So I've taken that profit now and used it to create an account that I can actually take on a little bit of risk. Another example, I can use the spot as well to open up a leverage account. Now people are afraid of leverage. Ooh, leverage is bad, it can wipe my whole life. Leverage changed my life. If it wasn't for leverage, I would be nowhere today because I never had the money to make a lot of money. I got wiped out many times and I, if I wasn't left with that extra 100 bucks to try, I would not be here today. So leverage is actually very powerful, but it's terrible to use your life savings. It's terrible to borrow money from other people and use it. It's terrible to do those things. However, when it has a purpose, it's incredibly strong. So you can also open up a leverage account. Now let's quickly speak about these accounts. What these accounts are for, margin and leverage accounts, these are for a purpose. You need to pay debt off. If you need to do something in your life, I need to upgrade my car, I need to fix my engine, I need to do something. You can actually use your spot account to create money, use that money to create a margin account that has the intent to fix your car. That's the power of it, okay? And it's there for a purpose. Once you achieve the purpose, you close it down, you go back to spot. So the only time you are actually opening up these accounts is for purposes. And it's the same with the leverage. This is the highest risk account you get. It's terrible if you're only a leverage trader and you don't have a spot account, okay? Because if you get wiped, you get wiped and you are done. Okay, it's about surviving the hard stages in crypto and prospering when the markets are going to the upside and actually being able to use these tools to your advantage. So this account is purely focused on making money, quick in and out trades focused on short term goals, buying shoes, buying your kids presents, buying whatever it is, this is the great way to be using it. Okay, this is not for long term wealth, it's not for long term wealth, and it's not for long term wealth, okay, at all. You won't become a long term rich trader just by trading off of leverage. This is to clear the way so that you can keep walking through the path. The more you walk and you see something in your way, leverage can help you kick it out the way so you can get to your goals quicker. That's what these things are here for. They're not there for the main journey or to give you clear direction to walk through the path. It's important to have a split system as well. And I'll speak about this in a sec. So those are the little bit of the high risk. Then what you have on top here is the long-term wealth. Your long-term wealth is something that you believe in, that you want to invest in crypto for a long period of time, which means you need to understand it. You need to understand what Bitcoin is. You need to understand what Ethereum is. You need to understand what these things are and what tokens you actually want to hold for a long period of time. Many people that are believers are fantastic, but if you don't know when to buy these things or, or have any structure behind it, and I want to remind you again, an investor is a trader. Don't get it wrong. I'm an investor. No, you're a trader. You just do it in a very long-term uh, way, okay? But you are still a trader. You're still buying the red. You're still selling the green, all of these sort of things. But the same thing here with spot. When you make money with spot, you can take a certain amount of money that can open you up high risk accounts and a certain amount of money that can go buy the tokens that you love. Go buy your Bitcoin, go buy your Solana, go buy anything that you want. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm separating the difference. Some people will buy a token because they saw that there's a trade on the show and they'll end up holding that token for three years. That's incorrect. That's not the right way to do it. Once you have made money off of your spot accounts, you can use that to start building a long-term uh, wealth portfolio. And I wanna show you this over here. This account is for, uh, for the long run. Fundamentals are very important of what you're buying over here. They need to survive bear markets. They need to make a lot of money over time. Buying them at investment entries are super important. And remember, investors are traders too. Buy at the right time and also take profits into Bitcoin or anything on that portfolio as well. So if you're someone that's just stepping in now, you've been getting brutally beaten within this market, it's important to start with step one. Once you've got step one, you can start creating the split system. I also want to remind you again, you don't have to have leverage or margin. If you're someone that's sitting with $100,000, sure, you can have a little bit of a long-term account, no problem, okay? But if you're someone with $1,000, it's not enough to be your long-term yet. However, that $1,000 can work for you and start creating you something for the long-term. And that's the powerful thing about it. The next thing to also understand between all of this is splitting systems, okay? And I just spoke about it. If you make a successful trade on spot, you automatically know in your brain, 30% will buy me my long-term coins. 30% will, will open up a leverage account, 30% will go into cash, and 10% will open up margin accounts. Every trade you take. Do you guys do that? That every trade you take, you know where money is moving and what it's meant to be doing and what it's actually there for. And remember, you're not just opening up a leverage account just for the sake of it. You could be opening up a leverage account to help your spot. You say, you know what? I'm gonna use my spot to make 200 bucks. I'm gonna then take it to a margin and make it 600 bucks with a 3X. Then I'm gonna go back to my spot 
I'm gonna make another 200 bucks, send it to the leverage, and now have $200 on a 10X and have $2,000. And all of a sudden, between the three accounts, I'm now running a $3,500 portfolio, yet I only had $1,000. That's gonna help you grow. And with the profits, I'm gonna send it straight back into Spot. So you could see here, the goal is to open up these accounts. But now, let's say you open up a margin. Let's say you open up a leverage. It's important to have a splitting system with them too. Where basically, if you make money on the margin account, certain amount of profits will go back into spot, which will then go into long term. Some will stay in the spot and some will remain in the margin account. Same with the leverage. If you make profits over here, you're sending some to, to spot, which is then getting sent to long term and you are keeping some within the actual leverage account. And then what's also important is to take some money out into a money account and spend it. You need to remind yourself that every day that you are trading, the money is actually real. If you are spending, and I've seen this many times, people are spending thousands of dollars on NFTs and memes, you are treating money like it's trash, therefore the market's gonna treat you like trash. You need to understand that this is real money you're talking about. All those numbers you're seeing on the screen are actually real. Therefore, you need to feed the soul and every amount of little bit of profit that you make, a certain amount must go into a money account over here that you actually go spend Bring the money out and that will remind you what you are actually really fighting for. So guys, what you are seeing here is a basic system of an ecosystem of someone that actually has a game plan of what they're doing. Off of this, now I can go and learn, okay, spot accounts, where do I buy? What TA do I need to know? The thing about spot accounts is it's your most safest account, right? So it's your most your daily or your, your 12 hour timeframes. It's your safest timeframes to make money. My leverage. Okay, that one's a bit more DJ and that way you can go one hour and four hour chart. Now off of that, you can start learning, okay, I can use a RSI, a trend line, all of this sort of thing. But if you don't start off with the foundation over here, you are not gonna get anywhere when it comes to the TA because you're gonna make so much money and you're probably gonna blow it up within one trade. This is gonna teach you to split money, to basically have proper structure within your money. And by doing this, it's actually gonna diversify you that when the big dips happen or the big droughts come within the market, you're actually going to still have money because you are not using your main gold. Guys, I want to remind you again, I'm here to teach you everything I know. I have built you a school and the school will teach you all the foundations to understand how to chart and everything you need to know within this. Come back to this and print this and put this on your wall. Once you have done the education, you have the community within Sniper Club, you have all of these things that's gonna create the ecosystem for you. But I'm here today to remind you that the structure is the main thing for you, your foundation that you can build on top of. If you have any cracks in your foundation, I don't care if you build a very big building, that little crack will reveal itself and that whole building will come down. And that's not the scary part. You do the this once you have structure for yourself and you finally understand what you're doing guys if you enjoyed this content hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video much love